It's about the killing you were sent up on 15 years ago. Why would I want him dead? I want to make a confession. I killed your dad. They caught the junkie that killed your father. It was Marco Brokaw. Marco, Marco, Marco. I probably turned down $300 in trade. This is usually the point where I take off my clothes. Alicia, you're a key witness. Hiya. You're a dead man, Hunter. <laughs> for me. You got here just in time, honey. I'm busting out of here tonight. <laughs> Skip the jokes. You got five minutes. What do you want? I want to make a confession, honey. This one's for you. But what you did for me after that last bust, I killed your dad. What are you talking about, Draco? They got the man who killed my father, and you know it. Uh, that stupid punk. Uh, I did your old man in. Contract hit. Paid for it, done by me. First time I ever ratted. <laughs> At last. <laughs> Who put out the hit? Vinny Brokaw. My father's partner, you're a liar. Said his kid, Marco, to cash. That's the order. That came from Vinny. Look at me. I'm dying. Would I lie to you now? Huh? Draco. Draco! So maybe he had a grudge against Vinnie Brokaw. Did you think of that? There's no connection between Vinnie Brokaw and Draco. If they ever met, it was just that one time. I know how you feel. I mean, it's hard to believe that somebody wants to spend their last five minutes on Earth lying to somebody, but... Lieutenant, I was there, remember? You weren't. 
Draco was telling the truth, all right. Well, what about the guy who got sent up? What was that, a little mistake? It was a big mistake. So what do you want to do about it? I want to open this thing up. I think something stinks here. On official department time? Well, why not? There's no statute of limitations on murder. I think you're talking about personal and private business. Well, it is personal, as you well know, Lieutenant. But I don't think homicide is private. Now, I've got two weeks vacation time coming to me. I want to take them right now and work on this case. All right, you got it. Oh, another thing. If I find out we've got the wrong man in the murder of my father, I want to be put back on official duty time retroactive to today. OK, it's a deal. All right, Hunter, stay in touch. You never know when you might need a little help from your friends. Here it is. Just came in, last known address. Yeah, great, thanks. Where are you going? Hi, my dear, I'm going on vacation. Well, now that's a coincidence. How's that? I just put in for my vacation. When did you do that? about the time that uh, you went in to talk to the lieutenant. I got two weeks coming to me, too. You must live, right, Dee Dee? He signed it. Thanks. OK, let's go. Is that uh, Floyd Dudley back there? Yes, it is. Could we talk to him, please? Floyd Dudley? Yeah. Oh, can I help you with something? It's the cops. What's the problem, officer? Well, Sergeant Hunter, this is Sergeant McCall. We'd just like to ask you a few questions, Mr. Dudley. It's about the killing you were sent up on 15 years ago. Oh, man. Hey, come on. Don't do this to me. Please. I did my time. That's history now. Well, that's true. As soon as your parole is done or you get a pardon. <laughs> That'll be the day. Your name's Hunter. Yeah, Rick Hunter. Your son. You're there at the trial every day. Yes, I was. What do you want? I want the truth from you, Floyd. You can tell us you did it and your parole will still stand. All Sergeant Hunter wants to know is, did you really kill his father? Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Well, Floyd, did you? Did you kill my dad? No. 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 Yeah, I know you didn't, Floyd. What? But you did break into the H&B scrap metal yard that night, didn't you? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have to break in. The gate was already unlocked. I told it like that at the trial. What were you doing there then? I already admitted why I was, why I was there. I was looking to steal. I don't know, petty cash, whatever. And you went up the stairs to the office. No, I, man, I didn't even make it halfway up them stairs, and I heard two gunshots, bam, bam, and I cut out fast, down the stairs, out the gate, up the street, smack into a black and white. <laughs> I like that for luck. Huh? Well, did you see anybody else around? No. If I had, I wouldn't have gone in. What'd you do with the gun if you had two cops on your tail like that? I didn't have a gun. If I would have had a gun, I could have sold it to buy the dope. He did it for me. I was one with a habit, not him. It's all right, sweetheart. All right. There, she's clean now. She hasn't even chipped for, what, 18 months now? 18 months. That's right, since I've been out. Uh, why don't you go ahead and just go ahead and show him. No, you don't have to do that. 
That's not necessary. Well, thanks for talking to me, Floyd. I appreciate hearing it from you. And once this thing is all settled, I'll do everything I possibly can to get your name cleared. Yeah, well, it's all the same to you. We'd uh, appreciate it if you just left us alone. How'd they explain that at the trial? What? Well, they caught him less than a block away, but they never found the gun. How'd they cover that? Well, they figured that he just tossed the gun and then someone found it and kept it. So how do you figure it now? I don't know. What do you think about that? Uh -huh. I'm asking you. I believe him. I don't think he had a gun. All right. So where are we going? H&B Scrap Metals. H is in Hunter, B is in Brokaw. How you doing? Need to see Vince Brokaw. Oh yeah, you got an appointment? No. I don't know appointment, but uh, I've got this. Yeah? You got the warrant to go along with it? Well, I don't want to arrest him, I just want to talk to him. Why don't you use the telephone, huh? Hey. Ah. Right there, Hunter. Marco, Marco, Marco. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. I need to talk to your old man. He's not in. Oh, come on now. Why don't you give him a call? If he wants to see you, I'm sure that his secretary will set up an appointment. I've always heard about Draco. I don't know what you're talking about. And I could care less. Get out of here. This is private property. Well, tell him I'll be back. Right. All right, go on home. Marco said we should stay with you, Mr. Brokaw. Does he want you to sleep with me, for God's sakes? Get out of here. I'm going to bed. Good night, good night. It's nice to see his son care about his father. Rick, you shouldn't go sneaking up on me like that. I could have shot you. Oh, I wouldn't let that happen, Minnie. I think you can call me up any time. You're always welcome here. Yeah, that's what Marco said. Oh, you know Marco. Sometimes he's too much. Can I get you anything? Yeah, you can get me a signed confession that you had Phil Draco kill my father. Come on, Rick. You don't believe that no-good bum? Yeah. Rick, don't talk like that, even in a joke. Draco hated my guts. He claimed I cheated on a deal. The only deal you had with Draco was the one to kill my father, Minnie. You're out of your mind. They caught the junkie that killed your father. Rick, your father and I were friends, partners. Why would I want him dead? Why would you want him dead to take over the business and go in with the mob? That's why. Rick, on my mother's grave, I didn't put out the contract on your dad. You're a liar. It's God's truth. All right, what the hell is going on here? How did you get in here, huh? Well, through the back door. You got a warrant? Come on, show me a warrant. Well, I'll be damned. I owe you an apology, Vinny. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, right, go ahead, get out of here! You're the one that hooked up with Phil Draco and took a contract out of my old man. You paid him off, didn't you? That's what happened, didn't it? Nothing to do with it. You did. 
dead man, Hunter. You got it wrong. You're the dead man. Miss Fiore? But you're Rika Hunter. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember me. You became a policeman. No, I still am. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, sure, talk. Could we uh, go in the house? Oh, no, per carita, please, no, my house. I gotta clean it up. It's fine here, it's okay. It's about Alicia. What happened to her? Well, I don't know, Miss Fiore. I haven't seen her since high school. That's when she was beautiful and angel. Uh, she sure was. You, you were crazy about Alicia. Now I remember. Yeah, but she was in love with Marco Brocco. <laughs> because he was older, he was, he was flashier. He spent uh, money on her capito. Miss Fiore, are you sure you wouldn't want to sit down and have a glass of wine or something? Rick, I don't hear from Alicia for three years. She moved away a long time ago to go and live with this it's Marco Disgraziato. Now, in 1971, she lived with Marco, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, but what is, what is this all about? Well, in 1971, Marco committed the crime, and I was hoping that maybe Alicia could help me prove that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. I, I don't know where she lives. She's a prostitute. Rick! Camilla wouldn't even that. I don't know where she is, but I know she's sick and she's in jail. Maybe she's even a dead Kilo Sato. Kilo Sato, Do you have a picture of her, Miss Fiore? Yes. Of course, I have a photograph. Let me help you. Eccola qua. A mia joy. But you give it back to me, okay? I will. Come on. I'm walking to the house. Her real name's Alicia Fiore. I don't know what name she tricks under. And she's a lot older than that, too. I got that out of my high school scrapbook. Hey, you a cop? No, what are you kidding? Look, Alicia's an old friend. She had a kid. She had a little girl. She sent it up to Seattle to live with her mother, and the old lady died. Now her sister wants to put the baby up for adoption. I just think she ought to know about it, that's all. Look, look, I may have seen her around, you know? But I don't know. No, keep it, OK? I made copies. You know girls in the neighborhood. Show it around, will you? Do me a favor, OK? If you see her, you hear anything, give me a call, OK? My number's on the back. Oh, one of my regulars. Hey, Lyman. How are you, honey? Lyman. <laughs> So what do you got? Nothing much. Still a little too soon. What about you? Well, I had a meeting with this guy and he stood me up. Right after I drop you off, I'm gonna go find out exactly what happened. In the meantime, be careful we picked up a tail. Private. Yeah. Can you guys read that? Put that back in your pocket and shuffle it out the door, man, before somebody makes you eat it. You're right, I apologize. I'll make it work. Boom! 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 Boom!
Well, right now, hey, Homer, you can tell this guy to get off my back. Hey, Homer! Hey, just be cool, man. Stay close. You'll be leaving in about five minutes. Yell if you need us, man. You and I had a meeting. Remember that? I waited. You didn't show up. What happened? I got the word, man. I best be deaf and dumb or I'll be dead. Who put that word out? That don't matter. The word is the word, and I believe it. Omer, it matters to me. Who put it out? I, uh, I tell you, and you split. Nobody knows where you hear it, right? Right, yeah. It was Marco Brokaw. Now, there's a door. Let it hit you where the good Lord split you. OK. She used to work for you. Where is she? Hey, honey, you don't let up, do you? Man? No, I don't. Now, I don't know where she is. I dumped her about six years ago. Why? What are you wanting for? Brokaw's looking for her. And I don't want him to find her, you know what I mean? So if you happen to hear anything, let me know, will you? I can do that. Good. Now get me out of here. Excuse me. A lot of beef over, a lot of beef. L-56, come in, please. This is L-56. L-56, I have a patch from Sergeant McCall for you. Good patch, you're through. Roger, L-56, hang on. Hunter, you reading me? Yeah, I read you loud and clear. What do you got? I'm at the sideshow. It's a bar over here on the boulevard. One of the ladies I showed Alicia's picture to thinks that uh, she might be in here. I think I found her. What do you mean, you think? Is it or isn't it? I don't know. I can't tell for sure. She's blonde, but she does have those brown eyes, you know? I think you got to come over. She's worth a look. OK, in about five blocks from me, I'll be right there. L-56 out. There she is. What do you think? I don't know. I can't tell. Want to talk to her? Yeah, I do. But we should probably talk to her when she's by herself. You follow her. Find out where she lives, and I'll back you up. You know what to do. Spread them out. Come on! What's going on, man? We're just here to visit our mother. <laughs> What's your name? I'm not gonna bring him in there. I'm on vacation for crying out loud. Now book him on possession of a concealed weapon and assault on a police officer. Possession and assault. Right. L56 out. Name's Dee Dee. You don't know me, I'm a friend of a friend. What friend? Diana, the one they call Lady Di.
Hi. Hi. So, how's Di enjoying the country? She's making it. She's gonna be out next month. She asked me to look you up when I got into town. Well, any favor I can do for Di, just ask. Oh, it's the other way around. She's got a favor for you. She said to tell you Marco's looking for you and that it's real serious. Is that it? That's it. That's all she told me. She said you'd understand. Well, if there's anything I can do for you. Thanks. Yeah. Where you been? Ran into a couple of Marco's men. Had to get rid of them. Did you find out where she lived? Yeah, about three blocks that way. Talk to her, too. Right after John left. Yeah. So what did she say? How did she react when you told her that Marco was looking for her? She didn't even blink. You know, I hate to say this, but I think it's her. Well, we'll know soon enough. If she runs, she is. If she doesn't. No, it's not her. You and Marco and Alicia were more than just friends in high school, huh? Yeah, Marco and I met her when she was about 16 years old. Marco was 18, I was 17. Boy, she was beautiful. Hey, there she is. Let's go. No way, but let me. Alicia. 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 Come on, now look. I gotta talk to you. You've got the wrong girl. No, I don't. I've got the right girl. You just bleached your hair. God. I hoped I'd never see you again. Look, we're both different people, but I gotta talk to you. About what? About a good old friend, Marco. Now, come on, let's get it off the street. This is usually the point where I take off my clothes. Alicia, we're friends, okay? Okay. Now look, in 1971, you lived with Marco, is that right? 1971, yeah. Yeah, and that was uh, when I still thought he was going to marry me. Did you know that 1971 was the year my father was murdered? Yeah, I knew. I almost called you. Well, Marco was responsible for that. He put out the hit. I didn't know that. Did you know a guy named Phil Draco? Draco. <clears throat> yeah. You did? From where? The house. He was only there once, but I remember him. I thought he and Marco were doing a dope deal or something. I took some coffee into the den for them, and Marco nearly threw me out of the room. There were two stacks of money on the table, and Draco was saying that the count was short. And? That's it. Marco threw me out, slammed the door. Did you see anything? No. Although, after Draco left, Marco did ask me if I'd seen anything or heard anything. And he was acting kind of strange, kind of scared, crazy-like. Uh, was the money gone? Yep. Marco said he was paying off an old gambling debt. Now, this was August, September of 1971, right? Well, let's see. We lived in that apartment till late 71, and this was a couple months before we moved out, yeah. Uh, would you be willing to testify in court to that? I guess so. Thanks, Alicia. 
Wait, what happened? I mean, you and Marco, uh... The same thing that happens to millions of women. He got tired of me. He got tired of hearing about babies and marriage. But you don't want to hear my sad story. Oh, no, no, I do. Go ahead, please. I got pregnant. He thought I did it on purpose. He was right, I did. He beat me around until I admitted it. And then he forced me to have an abortion. And then uh, a few months later, he threw me out. He had me thinking it was all my fault. Alicia, you can't stay here. You know that. He'll be looking for you. Rick, I'm a streetwalker. I can't hide. You're a key witness. And then after that, you can be anything you want to be. Come on, let's get out of here. Get back inside. That was Marco's men. Your lucky good helps hard to find. Yeah. Alicia! She's gone. I said I don't want to hear it. Now listen to me. I want that job done. I can't believe this. A simple job like that and they blew it. So you have a killed. Then what? Then nothing, Pop. It's over. She's the only person who ever saw me with Draco. They still Hunter. I'm going to take care of Hunter in my own time. She's the only one that can prove anything. Even with her, he can't prove anything. Can't you see this, I can't this take a chance, Pop. She saw me with Draco five days before the hit. She saw the money. Only God knows what she heard. Look, let it go, Marco. Hunter's got nothing to take her to the courtroom, even though he finds her. I'll take care of this. Rough night? Oh. Well, I only dropped one arch, and I probably turned down $300 in trade. You turned down $300 in trade? <laughs> Listen, maybe you had to become a sleazy prostitute and stop being a cop. Just because you don't have anybody out there to talk to you, Hunter, don't take your frustrations out on me. L-56, come in. L-56, go. Hunter, this is Ben. I just intercepted a phone call for you from Vinny Brokaw. He wants you in Waddles Park right now. Uh, good, I'll be there. You think you should? Might be a setup. Yeah, it seems a little obvious. However, I think everything will be OK. L-56 out. I'm taking you home. Why don't you do that after you meet him? You might be able to use some support. Well, you could use some sleep. Well, yeah, but the lieutenant's right. It could be a setup. Uh, hey. hey, Rick. Rick, I want to turn myself in. What, for feeding the ducks? You know what I mean. It's about your father. It was me. I put out the contract. Really? The mob wanted to lend your father and me money. And I wanted a piece of the action. But your father didn't want to go along with that. He wanted out of the mob scene. He didn't want to go further in. So you had him murdered, huh? I'm telling you the truth, Rick. Look. Agent B. Scrap Metal is one of the biggest operations in the state. We control more than half of this county. The mob gets 25%, right? So I, so I got rich. Let me tell you something, Vinny. You were a drunken old man when my father was alive doing 90% of the work, and your kid was spoiled rotten. So I spoiled him. So what? He's my only son. I was the one that put out the contract. So your job is done. No, no, my job's not done until I nail Marco. But don't worry, Benny. You'll be an accessory after the fact. Rick, I'm offering you a, a full confession. Look it. 
Draco already fingered Marco for the payoff, okay? It was in a sealed envelope. Marco didn't know what was in it. You're a liar, Vinny. He knew what was in it. Draco was paid in bundles of cash, and I can prove it. Rick, please. I'm a sick man. Dug my own grave for a long time. Whatever is bad about Marco is my fault. Let me do it. I'm responsible for what happened. You're right, Vinny. You are sick. You're also very stupid. You have no idea what a godforsaken pig your son is, do you? You have no right to say that, Rick. Look, Vin, let me just tell you something. Your son's having me followed right now. Did you know that? He knows we're talking. And you know what he's probably thinking? My old man's snitching on me. You don't know my son. I know him better than you! When you talk to him, you better talk fast because he's gonna have a gun pointed at your tiny head. Wake up, Vinny. Thanks, guys. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I couldn't sleep. Thought I'd come to the park, get some fresh air. It's hell breaking in a new partner, you know? If I know where she lives, I go talk to her myself. Now, her name is Tracy. She's looking for McCall. She hangs on the boulevard near La Brea. Now, you find her now. You got that? You just had a secret meeting with Hunter. Go ahead, lie about it. And I'll blow your head off right here, Pop. Now go put that gun down. You just met with Hunter in the park. What? I want to know what you told him. Oh, Marco, you know what the doctors told you? I haven't got too much time. You think I care what happens to me? Hey, I don't want to hear that! I want to know what you told Hunter. I told him I took out the contract on his father. I was willing to give myself up. Ah, come on! What did he get out of you? Nothing, nothing, Marco! Now you listen to me. Now don't you ever talk to anybody without talking to me first. You got that? I got it. I'll take care of this. come up with? Well, I got a call from, oh, from a girl named Tracy. She said she might have something, but I didn't hear back from her. What about you? A lot of promises is all. We'll give it more time. Oh, fine with me. Just as long as I spend it all sitting. <laughs>
get out of here. L-56, McCall, I have an urgent message for you from a Tracy Daniels. Yeah, go ahead. CNN, at the bar on the corner of Weston and Dune Place, West Hollywood. She'll point you to the lady. Shall I repeat? No, we've got it. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. Uh, pie in the sky. No, the doctor said you're doing just fine. You may have a little scar, but uh, it won't show unless you want it to. Does that mean we'll get a chance to have our talk? Yeah, I promise. I want to make that statement you talked about. Just as soon as you're strong, you can do that. Now, Rick. Get someone to take it down now. Okay. Yes, yeah, Sergeant Hunter. Put me through to Sergeant McCall, please. Aditi, listen, I'm still worth Alicia down at the hospital. Now, listen. Bring a stenographer and a warrant for the arrest of Marco Broke out of the hospital immediately. Okay, I'll wait here for it. Okay. What do you mean there's a warrant out for my arrest? Well, how the hell did they get it? No, you look. I don't care if there's cops on the door 24 hours a day. You get somebody in there and you put this right. Crazy if he used that gun. You get arrested, it don't mean nothing. We can afford the best lawyers in the country. You shut up. You're crazy, Marco. Crazy! Go around the other way. Throw it down, Marco. Got a warrant for your arrest. Come on, get up, please. 